Welcome to the latest video and update of the Random Poet Generator program. If you followed any of the previous programs and the development, you'll remember that uh, this is combining two poems together um, to create a random poem. And we've worked through a number of different programs. Uh, the previous one before this uh, basically allowed you to decide how many words were going to be on each line. And now in this iteration, or version of the program, you can now select the number of lines that the poem contains. So if we have a look at it first, and then I'll talk you through the code and how it works. So in my folder I have two poems. The first poem is Yeats, Gloss of Heaven. And poem number one is Dylan Thomas, Dying Light. Rage, rage, rage. So what's going to happen in the program is going to combine the two poems together in a random order with a um, set number of words which I define on a line and a set number of lines in the poem. So let's run this and see how it works. How many words per line do you want? So I'm going to go for three just because then it shows um, that the program's working. And how many lines do I want in a poem? Let's go for nine. Press enter. <coughs> 229 is the total number of words that it's found and combined. Enter the name of the file. So now I'm going to call it something. So we'll call this version one. And successfully merged. You'll see here now in this folder, a version one has appeared. And what we're looking for is a poem. It should have three words on each line. It should have nine lines per stanza and then a space. Here we go. So each line has three words. Each stanza is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty good. Okay, let's try again and just change change it up a bit. So let's go for something different. Let's go for seven. And let's go for what four lines. Call it version two. There it is. And you can see it has created it. Obviously you get this issue where there's not enough words to um, create four lines here. So it obviously ends with the single line. But this is completely random words from the poem in a random order. But now I'm setting the number of words I want per line and also the number of lines in a stanza. Let's have a quick look how the code works then. Uh, if you've seen the previous videos, you'll obviously know that it's taking in um, it's reading, opening the poem from the folders, uh, storing it, splitting each poem into words, and then combining them in a random file here. Uh, sorry, uh, here we go. Combining them in a random order. Okay, and uh, this is the new bit for this one. And uh, thanks to Sandy McDonald who helped me out. Because believe it or not, trying to calculate um, how many lines and then add a space in is quite complicated. Um, so thanks to Sandy McDonald for helping out. Uh, what's happening here then? So it's basically checking the length of the number of words that are stored in the array. So if there was a thousand, it would check that the, the current length is less than a thousand. And for each line, okay, it is then calculating the current line plus the number of lines. And then it's appending this to the, um, store to store variable okay and then this is appended to a new variable um, which holds the holds the final construction of the poem and you'll notice here that I'm adding a blank line here so it's actually adding a, uh, a blank space and this is how I've managed to um, create the poem so that it then jumps to a new line for the next stanza then obviously we update the line. So if this was line zero, it would now become line one. And it starts again. Is this less than um, the length? Well, we said the length was a thousand, so two's left. 
less than, then it runs through again. So quite complicated that. Um, and again, as I said, thanks to Sandy McDonald for helping me out there. And then we come down here and we just write to the file, except for this time we've changed the, I've changed the variable to final to print, which is the variable that holds the complete file, complete poem, sorry. Um, so just to check, we've got a couple of variables at the beginning, might make it a bit uh, easier to, to, for me to explain this. So the line length is how many lines I want. The number of lines is how many lines in each stanza. To store, stores the final poem before I'm writing to it. So this is the random version of the poem combined with all the um, words from the two different poems. And then the final to print is obviously the combination of the random poem plus the lines that I want, which is all controlled from this algorithm here. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the development of this. And um, if you've got any suggestions of how it can be improved, or if you've got any other features you'd like to see in it, please drop a comment and uh, we can see if we can add them into the poem developer. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe.